Motherboard, the big connector. Think of the motherboard as the central hub, the city where everything connects. Your CPU, RAM, GPU, storage, and even your Wi-Fi card all plug in to this one massive board. It's like the road system, the power grid, and the internet of your PC all rolled into one. Without it, your computer parts are just expensive decorations. CPU, or central processing unit. If your computer were a body, this would be the brain. Every click, every app, every Google search, it all runs through here. Modern CPUs have multiple cores, which are like tiny brains inside the big one. More cores equals more multitasking power. A Ryzen 5 or Intel i5 is great for everyday use. But if you're gaming, editing, or doing heavy work, think Ryzen 7 or i7. GPU, the artist. This is what turns data into the visuals you see on your screen. Playing games, watching 4K videos, rendering 3D art, that's your GPU's time to shine. There are two kinds, integrated GPUs built into the CPU, perfect for light work, dedicated GPUs like Nvidia or AMD cards for serious gaming or editing. If the CPU is the brain, the GPU is the imagination. RAM, random access memory. It's your computer's short-term memory. Imagine your desk while you work. The bigger it is, the more books and notes you can keep open. Small desk? You'll be constantly opening and closing stuff, slowing everything down. Eight gigabytes is good for basic tasks. 16 gigabytes for gaming or multitasking. 32 gigabytes or more? That's for video editors or people who just like flexing. Just remember, RAM doesn't save data. It just helps your PC think faster. Storage the long-term memory, where all your files, photos, and memes actually live. There are two types, HDD, the old school one with spinning disks, big and cheap but slower, SSD, no moving parts, super fast and more reliable, but costs more. Most people use both, SSD for your operating system and apps so things load instantly, HDD for big files and backups. If RAM is your desk, then storage is your bookshelf, PSU, the power source or power supply unit. It's the heart of your PC, pumping electricity to every part. Get one with the right wattage for your setup. Too weak and nothing turns on, too strong and you're wasting power. Always pick a trusted brand with an 80 plus rating. Cooling system, the AC unit. Computers get hot, really hot. That's why you need cooling. Fans, heat sinks, and sometimes even water cooling keep temperatures low. Air coolers are budget friendly and easy to maintain. Liquid cooling looks cooler, literally, and performs better for high-end builds. Think of it like giving your PC air conditioning. Without it, your CPU will overheat faster than your phone on a summer day. Case, the home of everything. Finally, the PC case. It's the home that keeps everything safe and stylish. It holds your parts, manages airflow, and shows off your RGB lighting. Big cases have better cooling and space for upgrades. Small cases look clean, but need careful cable management. If you found this helpful, give the video a like and subscribe for more Tech Made Simple. Got questions? Drop them in the comments and go impress your friends with your new PC knowledge.